Greetings, Daniel Preseto here for Adobe Photoshop, and today we're going to look at ray tracing an image, a final image, and saving it out so that you can use it for other projects or in the, even in the same file. Here is an object I have currently ray traced, and I've copied the pixels here. But let's go to the original file. This is the original 3D layer. I ray traced it. You can access the ray tracer through the properties. There's a button down here that says render the file. You can also right click on the document, and you'll see that same button in the corner. And under 3D, you can select render. Those are three different ways you can ray trace, render your file. And basically, when you ray trace a file, you're saying you're, you're primarily done with the project, maybe completely done, and you want to get the final re realistic results of what you've created. It's pretty much like a photographer, photographer, excuse me, <laughs> taking the final picture. You are using that last moment to capture what you want. Now, once you've done it, as in this case, I've done it, it's done. I've copied it, I've literally done a command all or control all, I've copied these pixels and I've pasted it into another layer. That saves it off in such a way that it won't be lost. Now, why is it lost? That's a good question. What happens is, currently this was ray trace, this is what you see right now. If I modify a texture, if I turn this on or off, for example, or if I modify any element of the scene, Photoshop is going to look at that. For example, if I just rotate it here, see, it's already changed. I've already lost those changes. This is no longer the file that I had, right? Let's go back a step here. I have modified it. If I take off the textures and put them back on, you've changed this file, and Photoshop is simply updating the canvas, your document, to reflect what has changed. So the easiest way to do this is to save it off into a new layer or if you want to you can also you may save as a JPEG file perhaps a PSD save a separate document with those changes I find it easier just to copy and paste these pixels and then renaming this you know final render or whatever it is that you want to name it I would even put it potentially underneath the layer, maybe put it in a little separate folder that's, you know, these are my renderings, because I may choose several different renderings and several, you know, lighting uh, or material changes and store them there. That way, I can just build them up, different renders, and pick later which ones I like. But that's the function, and that's what happens when you save it. So it's kind of confusing. You can start ray tracing a file. I can go over here. You can start ray tracing it, and it'll start doing its thing and rendering the object, but if you make any changes, it throws them away. So I hope this explains things a little bit. If you still have questions on what's happening, go ahead and comment on this video, and uh, I'll try to answer them as they come. Thank you for watching.